Hey everyone, time for another list, this time the 50 best live albums ever. And this is from Louder, the Louder website. And it was posted in September of 2023, so it's pretty recent. Now some of my, you know, there's a lot of great live albums, but some of my favorites, I would say my number one favorite has always been Grand Funk Live Album and Genesis Live, and of course, Second, Seconds Out is great too, but I just, you know, growing up, this this was the one that I connected with the most. And Blue Easter Cult, On Your Feet or On Your Knees. The Guess Who, Live at the Paramount. And this by Paul Mc... I know, you know, Wings Over America, of course, but also this more recent one when he performed in a record store. And this is just so good. If you're a Paul McCartney fan and you haven't checked this out yet, I highly suggest you do. And I've even got a box set, Ramones, It's Alive. And this comes with four CDs and two vinyl records. Plus, like I said, there's, there's many more great live albums. Uh, Bongo Fury by Frank Zappa just came to mind. Hawkwind, Space Ritual. So let's see. I haven't looked at this list yet. Well, speak of the devil. It's, it's Ramones. It's alive. Yeah, they they were just, at least in the early years, they were just so powerful live. And they would usually play the songs even faster than, than they did on the albums. Wood, Woodstock, yeah. It was a great three-album set back in the day. I would like to get that on CD. Joe Cocker, Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young, Santana, Jefferson Airplane, Love Can't Heat, Sly and the Family Stone, of course, 10 years after. Hey, surprised it actually made the list. Grand Funk Railroad Live Album, 1970. Yeah, I think that might have been the very first, one of the very first vinyl records I ever bought when I was 58, 68, 12 years old. Hawkwind Space Ritual. Yes, I have that album. I did buy that back when I was an Aerosmith fan. It was, it was okay. Um, double album. Alice in Chains. I actually just did a reaction to Alice in Chains on my Patreon. Really good. Just, you know, back in the day, I kind of ignored them for whatever reason. Jethro Tull. Yeah, I really like Jethro Tull, but I never, ever bought Bursting Out. Scorpions. Yeah, I was never... Never into Scorpions or Iron Maiden, those kind of bands. Um, and by the way, please remember, as always, to like this video and leave a comment below and make sure you're subscribed. Thank you. And yeah, leave comments on what's missing from this list. I'm sure there's a few great live albums missing. Another one I have, I have the box set, the recent CD box set with all of their early Studio albums remastered plus performance rocking the Fillmore. Yeah, that would be in my top 10 for sure. Jimi Hendrix, Band of Gypsies, great live album. Uh, I think I listened to this live album with one of my CD exchanges with Glenn Kellaway from the basement. It was good, but didn't interest me enough that I would want to rush out and buy it. I, I enjoyed the first Kiss album. 
because way, way back in the day, as I always say, <laughs> because I'm old, <laughs> uh, yeah, I bought Kiss Alive, but by this time with Kiss Alive 2, I was, I was completely done with them. White Snake, I was never into White Snake. There better be some Led Zeppelin on this list. Yeah, Ted Nugent, I bought that when it came out, and it was okay. I'm, I'm certainly not a Ted Nugent fan these days because of his, his personality. I'll just leave it at that. But I listened to Double Live Gonzo about a year ago, and it is a darn good live album. I admit it. Led Zeppelin, yeah. I think that's their best live album. Although, you know, the song remains the same soundtrack is great too. But How the West Was Won is my favorite. And it should be higher on the list. I was a U2 fan back back in the day. Uh, I don't know. I was never a, a huge fan of this live album. Even though, like I said, I was a big fan. Maybe it should have been a double album, and maybe I would have liked it more. Yep, Talking Heads, Stop Making Sense, great film and album. I've got the, it's a double live CD. The name, I think it's called, the name of this band is Talking Heads, and it's basically from the early years to the later years, and it's superb. Yeah, Wings Over America, yeah. But like I said, you need this in your collection too. Is it a Moby? I, that's why I didn't say a Moby gig. Is it a Moby Records? Could have been a better picture on the cover, I guess, but... Never got into Rainbow with uh, Richie Blackmore. The Band of the Last Waltz. I have all of the early albums by the band, but I don't have The Last Waltz. I know. Shame on me. Yeah. I don't, I've never owned this CD. It's just so sad to look back on it, but, you know, I've watched the concert online many times and it's excellent. Yeah. Where did you sleep last night? I think it's one of the greatest live performances ever. Yep. Yeah, get your yeah, yeahs out. The Rolling Stones. Great live album I have. Genesis seconds out. But like I said, I love Genesis live a bit, a bit more actually. I'm, I'm more of a fan of the Peter Gabriel years, but seconds out is Excellent. Yep, Live Ross, Neil Young. Johnny Cash at Folsom Prison. I've heard the full album. I've never owned it, though. Not into Ju Judas, Judas Priest. I've heard their, their new album is pretty good, though. Yeah, I had that back in the day. Three, three, was it? Was, was it three or five vinyl records? Maybe it was five. Maybe somebody can let me know. Yeah, great live album, Motorhead, No Sleep Till Hammersmith. Rory Gallagher. I've never heard this album, but he's a superb guitarist. Yeah, I've never owned... Well, I actually I did, I guess, on vinyl. But I've never had it on CD, and I've got everything else by Queen, so I need to pick that up. Bob Seger, I like him, but... Never really bought too many of his albums. 
Queen Live at Wembley 86 I've never had on CD or vinyl. Yes, I'm a huge Yes fan, but I just can't connect with Yes songs because, you know, the production isn't the greatest, and I'd, I'd rather just listen to the studio tracks. Leonard Skinner, good band, but never owned any of their music. Pink Floyd Pulse, never bought. I, I kind of gave up on them after Roger Waters left. Cheap Trick, yep. Yeah. Very good live album. Yes, Led Zeppelin, the song remains the same. Kiss Alive, like I said back Back in the 70s, I love that album. Rush, All the World's a Stage, excellent, excellent live album. <laughs> I think everybody at some point owned Frampton Comes Alive. I did on vinyl. So here we go with the top 10. Who's missing so far? I guess I'll find out reading the comments later. Yeah. I know a lot of people are, are fans of the Ullman Brothers Band at Fillmore East, but uh, just not my... I like them, you know, but not enough to buy their albums. ACDC, yeah. I had that on vinyl. Nope, never got into Iron Maiden, but, you know, I respect them and definitely talented mu musicians. Slade, Slade Alive, I've heard it, but I've never, never owned it. Status Quo, I've heard it, but I've never bought it. Rush, Exit, Stage Left. Yep, great live album. UFO, Strangers in the Night, I had that on vinyl when it came out. Oh yeah, The Who Live at Leeds, that's one I forgot to mention. Definitely in my top 10, I have the expanded version on CD. All right, two will be Thin Lizzy. I just never got into Thin Lizzy, but I know I've heard that this is a Excellent live album. So what would be number one? Drum roll. Oh yeah. yeah. Deep Purple Made in Japan. Good choice. Wouldn't be my number one. But I've heard it many times and it is a great live album. So that's it. So what live albums are missing? Let me know. Um... Yeah, there's no, no Blue Oyster Cult, or Genesis Live, or Guess Who, but not a bad list. <laughs> so thanks for watching, and have a great day. Remember to leave a comment.